Are you ready for the word of God? No, you are not ready. I didn't, I didn't hear you. Are you ready for the word of God? This lady comes to us as a minister of the gospel, as a, as a, mus, a musician, as a talented, as a gifted, anointed singer of the, the, the best songs that we know. And now it is my pleasure as we stand up to introduce Gift Zawadi Love to come and do whatever she knows how to do it in the name of Jesus. Karibu sana. Amen, amen. You may have your seats in the presence of the Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we ready to learn? It's going to be very short. Same as very short. So, you grasp it before it goes away. <laughs> In the meantime, can we open our Bibles to the book of Romans? Romans chapter 8. And we're going to start from verse 12. Our title today, or rather our topic today is Sonship Through the Spirit. Kukua mwana wa wa Mungu kupitia nani? Roho Mtakatifu. Unaweza kuwa mwana wa Mungu kupitia njia nyingine? Are you able to be a son of God through any other way? I don't think so. For sure hawezi. The sonship is only through the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tuko kwa screen. Wonderful. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh. Tuendele mpaka 17. Mwenye naniwekia tuendele. For if you live after the flesh, you shall die. Sema, tell your neighbor, if you live after the flesh, you shall die. But if through the spirit... Ambia eh through the spirit. Munaskia through who? Through another human being? Through the pastor? No, it's through the bishop, eh? Ah uh ah, -uh. bishop? The priest. Aye. It's through who? But if you through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, you shall live. Ebu tujaribu tuweke New King James Version. New King James ndio tukue na kizungu watu wanaweza elewa haraka. Sindio? Aya. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the spirit you put to death. Sema put to death. Iyo ndio likuwa nga naita mortify before. Unwana kizungu. You put to death the deeds of them. You put to what? To sleep? To sleep. We put to sleep. To death the deeds of the body. You will do what? So there is life after death. But if you put it to sleep, is there life? No. What comes after sleep? You wake up. <laughs> right? Aya, let her your bowl up. Continue to the next one. For as many as are led by who? The pastor. For as many as are led by the bishop. For as many as are led by the archbishop. No. I. For as many as are led by religious leaders. No. Ah. Uh -huh. Inasema nini? For as many as are led by the spirit of God. Uh-huh. These are the sons of God. Those that are led by the Spirit of God, they are sons of God. Amen. What about those that are led by other people? They are sons of those people. Mumeskia mtu wakisema I'm a son of so and so. Because they are leaders. Mm. If you have a father, they lead you, right? Yeah. But if you have God, the Spirit of God himself leading you, then you are a son of who? Son of God. Because God himself is the one that is leading Kumanyisha kuna wa kristo ambao hawajai ruhusu roo wa mungu wa waongoze. Na ni wana wa wale wana wa waongoza. Mm -hmm. Kama wewe 
ni mwana wa Mungu unaongozwa na roho wa Mungu. Kumaanisha kiongozi wako akitembea hivi Mimi tuseme mimi ni Yesu kuja hapa kuwe kiongozi. Mimi ni Yesu wewe ni kiongozi. Aya nataka mam kuja tufanye kazi na wewe. Aya. Mam wewe ni mshirika. Huyu ni Pastor Grace. Anaitagwa Pastor Grace by the way. I'm going to introduce my team after the sermon, don't worry. This is Pastor Grace. Pastor Grace, huyu ni mshirika wako. Mam unaitwa Mam Mary Wairimo. Aya. Mimi ni Yesu in this illustration. Ha? Eh? I'm, I'm Jesus, right? You're supposed to follow her as she follows Christ. Eh? Anaongozwa na roho wa Mungu. Roho wa Mungu anatuongoza kwa njia za Yesu. Haya, tuseme mimi ni roho wa Mungu. Ninaongoza huyu. Haya. Wacha niende. Ananifuata. Ananifuata. Grace enda huko. Ananifuata. Mama naenda wapi? Mama ameenda wapi? Kwa nini? Anafuata nani? Anafuata nani? Umefuata pasta. Alipotea. Wewe Lakini turudi hapa sasa tufanye the next illustration. Mam, umeokoka. Una umemkubali Yesu kama mwokozi wa maisha yako. Unamjua roho wa Mungu anakuongoza, right? Unafuata nani? Utafuata kiongozi au utamfuata roho wa Mungu? Haya, kiongozi wewe unafuata roho wa Mungu lakini tukifika pale upotee kidogo. Eh. Haya, we, una, u, ulianza na roho. Unakumbukaga kinasemekaga walianza na roho akamaliza na mwi? Kwa utaenda umalize na mwili tuone penye mama ataenda. <laughs> Haya, mimi ni roho mtakatifu. Haya, ninaongoza kiongozi ambaye anafuatwa na nani? Haya. Tuone kama mama atafuata roho mtakatifu. Mama anafuata roho mtakatifu. Mama anafuata roho mtakatifu. Ameacha kiongozi wapi? That is what you're supposed to do. Asante sana. That is what you're supposed to do. Usiwai kuata kiongozi blindly. Lazima ujue roho wa Mungu for yourself. Ili akimaliza na mwili, wewe bado uko na roho. Akiangamia wewe hautaangamia na ye? Can you imagine? Yesu alikuwa na wafuasi wangapi? 12. 12 disciples, ndio? Mmoja alikuwa mwizi. Tuseme wote unaona kama sasa dad. Hapa dad si mnakuanga na cell group. Mnaweka nini cell group? Tuseme sasa wewe ulikuwa ni na cell group 12. Imagine Yesu alikuwa na cell group 12 na moja wa kiongozi hiyo cell group ilikuwa ni Judas. Alikuwa anaongoza moja. Sasa we niambie, kama wenye alikuwa naongoza hawange jua Yesu, wange du? Si wange iba kama yeye? Na wangeenda kuangamia kama yeye? Kuwa, ku, it is meaning that, uyu alitembea na Yesu, ni kiongozi. Alitembea na Yesu, Yesu wakituma waenda waka, waka heal watu na waka raise the dead na nini, aliwatuma wote wakiwa 12, sindio? Na akawaka kuja na miujiza. Si walifanya miujiza. Si alikuwa kiongozi. Na ametumika na alikuwa natamia na Yesu. Na kin, alifanya nini si alipotea. Na akaangamia. Akiwa natamia na nani? Viongozi ya mbao munafota walitamia na Yesu. Na kwa ni munafota tu blindly. Muki wa amini 100%. Na mwenye alitamia na Yesu alianguka. Ndiyo kwa maana baba akasema. Yule nilimtumia Yesu mnakumbuka apatu alipobatizwa Mungu alituma nani? Akambatiza na nani? That was the first time alipata identity as a son of God. This is my son. Roho wa Mungu alipatia Yesu identity as a son of God. Akasema this is my son in whom I am well pleased. God is only going to be pleased with you if you follow the Holy Spirit of God. Muna shika. Ni mwana nyita. Kiluga ingine iko huku. Muniambie yyo kiluga ni nseme na yo. Hallelujah. So this is what I'm going to do today. Nataka ni waonyeshe illustration ambaye hapa. Tutafanya. Nataka. 
Hiyo ni tumia tu the same people ndio tukue consistent. Mam na Grace kujeni. Grace chukua hiyo. Mam nitakupatia ingine hapa. Mam yuko na inua kikombe chako. Hiyo ni, ni maji ni clear. Mnaona through kuko, kuko na, na, na uchafu yoyote mnaona. Huyu ni roho wa Mungu. Huyu ni mwana wa Mungu. Huyu ni Yesu. Tunatakikana kukuwa kama hapa tumeja wenyewe. Tumejijaza. Tumejija ambaye hujaokoka umejaa dhambi umejaa flesh right uokoke mwaka kidogo hapa tena kutoka ni nusu haya nenda hapa mwenye ameokoka wacha nikupeka sasa <laughs> ukiokoka unamkubali Yesu right Now you receive Christ as your Lord and Savior, si ndio? Deliverance ni ya watu ambao hawajaokoka. Ni ya watu ambao wame wameokoka, wamemkubali. Huwezi enda ku, 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 ku deliver mtu ambaye hajakubali ku, ku kombolewa. Wewe unaendaka kwa kwa nini? Kwa mahali mtu ameshikwa na anataka kukuwa mfungwa, uende umfungue. Si unafungwanga mwenye anataka kukuwa free. Sasa huyu amesema anataka kukuwa free akaokoka. Aka wacha some part of them akapatia Mungu nafasi lakini angalia hiyo nafasi ambayo amepatia Mungu ni gani hebu ino akakombe peke yake juu mnaona hiyo nafasi bado amebakisha yeye mwenye kazi ya roho mtakatifu kuja hapa kazi ya roho mtakatifu ni kufanya huyo mkristo awe kama ye kama Yesu kama kama Yesu haya just hold this over this Roho mtakatifu ame ni Mungu He's full God completely totally right Aya tuna Tumemkubali Yesu kama mwokozi wa maisha yetu Bila roho wa Mungu unabaki vile vile You are a Christian by name. Lakini matendo yako ambayo ya ini ya dhambi yamelala tu. Tulisema we have to put them to to death by who? By the spirit of God. If you try to do your own righteousness, you're just putting it to sleep. Ushaisikia watu wangu huyo na huyo alikuwa mzuri, amehiokirwa tu mara moja akachapa mtu ama ameua mtu kwa sababu ilikuwa tu imelala. Unajaribungi sana kukuwa mzuri, unakuwa mzuri lakini inafika mali mtu amekukasia unamwambia maneno mbaya sana kwa nini? Ulikuwa umelalisha tu matendo ya ya flesh. Tumeambiwa tuweke tuzifanye zilale. Ndio watu waone sisi ni wazuri mbele ya watu. Kuna wengine wako hapa wanatembea vizuri lakini wakifika nyumbani hata wanaongeleshanga mabibi zao vibaya. Eh? Wanawatandika ama bibi anaongeleesha bwana yake vibaya ama mnafanyana madharao hizo ni hiyo matendo mnajaribu muna, kuweka tu sleep sema tu sleep ambia your neighbor we have to put them to death by the spirit of god in jesus name hallelujah haya we have received the holy spirit of god have we uh, tumekubali roho wa mungu i put to death the deeds of the flesh that we may live ha sasa tunaona the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace Patience are you becoming more like Christ? Kindness, goodness, faithfulness, sinikazi mingi. Humility, self-control, are you becoming more and more like Christ? More and more like Christ? More and more like Christ? It's getting clearer, ha? Huh? Sasa matendo yako inakuwa ni kama ya Yesu. Consistent. Si saa ingine na saa ingine. Si saa ingine na saa ingi. Watu wanaangalia, 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 wanaangalia. Unaona ni kazi ngapi? How much is the Holy Spirit working? How much is the Holy Spirit working on us? How much? 
Munaona hiyo maji yote? Aya sasa mama. Kuja simama karibu na Grace. Grace inua kikombe yako. Can you see through? Can you see through? When he looks at you, does he see the righteousness of Christ? When he looks at you, can he say that is my son in whom I'm well pleased? Because umeachilia roho wa Mungu akubadilishe. Akufanye mwana wake. You can never do it by your own strength. Wewe tu kile uko nacho ni ile juice nyingine kama hiyo that's the same color you have. The deeds of the flesh hata tujaribu aje bado ndio kwa maana siku moja nikauliza Mungu mbona nina struggle na dhambi mbona nina struggle na kukuwa mzuri mbona ninajaribu wengine wanasema ah mi lazima nikuwe mzuri ndio niokoke hao uko na uzuri gani ndani yako yenye itakusaidia ndio uokoke the only thing we have is the holy spirit na kazi yake ni ya kutujaza who he is who god is who the father is that we may be become like our daddy hallelujah hallelujah i told you it is a short someone stand up on your feet thank you so much mommy grace there is a woman in ifani kakwa kopi ni kwa sababu utuko na misconception sana kwa kanisa tumepata viongozi The reason why you don't speak like God is because you are still struggling with sin. Umekata roho wa Mungu akujaze yeye mwenyewe. We have to say no to sin. We have to say no to struggles. We don't have to struggle anymore. Yesu anarudi. Na anataka kurudia his bride kanisa lake. Na kanisa limekataa Roho Mtakatifu awatengeneze kwa sababu they are so preoccupied na kile watu watafikiria kuwahusu kuliko kile Mungu anaona. Can I tell you something? Niwaambie jambo. Siku moja nilikuwa na nena na rafiki yangu mwingine. Nilikuwa shule kama mmesikia nilikuwa ninafanya nursing na nilifanya my bachelor's of science in nursing and then I did my masters in healthcare administration. Lakini wakati nilikuwa nikifanya bachelor's I, nilikuwa ninataka kujua roho wa Mungu sana. Ilifika mahali nikamwambia Mungu sitaki kanisa tena. I am tired of religion. Kama hautanifundisha mimi nitapotea. Na nikamwambia si ulisema utatutumia roho mtakatifu yuko wapi? Na mtaka sasa, na muhitaji. Nikaongea na roho mtakatifu, nikamwambia roho mtakatifu ulikuwa hapo nikiumbwa. Na ukaona kile kiliwekwa ndani yangu. Wewe nirivilie, nionyeshe na unisaidie niwe kile everything Mungu aliniumba na hapo ndio jani yangu na Roho Mtakatifu ilianza sisi ni mabeshti na ndio akaniku akaniambia i am an author of many books nimeandika kitabu kingine cha kwanza kinaitwa your god given task kazi ambayo ulipewa na Mungu what did god put in you during creation aliweka nini ndani yako ulipoumbwa finding your purpose and fulfilling it kutapata purpose yako Ujue huu unafanya nini hapa duniani? Na kuhitimiza. The second book ni hii, My Friend the Holy Spirit, Intimacy with God. Now how come ilipata hiyo title My Friend the Holy Spirit? Nilikuwa ninajua nina, I'm supposed to write about the Holy Spirit. Na nikaandika title lilikuwa The Holy Spirit. God the Holy Spirit. Akarudi siku moja nikiwa pale nje kwangu, ninamwagilia nyasi maji kule America. Akaniambia I do not want the book to be titled God the Holy Spirit. Nikamwambia no. 
Can anybody know? I want you to call it my friend, the Holy Spirit, because I'm your friend. Just imagine God calling you his friend. Isn't it amazing? Yesu akaambia disciples wake ati nyinyi nimewarivilia vitu ambazo ziniza ndani kwa sababu nyinyi ni rafiki zangu. Servants hawajui. I tell my team we don't work with God. We don't work for God. We work with God. If you work for somebody you can quit. If you work for somebody you can retire. If you work for somebody, unaweza call off kazi, unaweza kata hiyo kazi, hata unaweza negotiate pay. Ndio kwa maana mnaona kuna watu wengi wanasema nilipe kwanza kabla nikuje niimbe kwa kanisa lako. Unalipa pesa ngapi? Kabla nikuje nihubiri unanilipa pesa ngapi? By the way, that was not even a topic of discussion with dad. And it doesn't matter what. It should never be a topic of discussion. He is a king. He gives the gifts for the church. Freely you have received Freely you have to give. That is what kingdom is all about. It is not transactional, earthly transactionals. Munaweka the giftings of God. Munaziweka into mere papers. Makaratasi pesa. That is being a Judas in the kingdom. Stop it. The gifts are for the king, not for you. And they are for the church, which is the kingdom of the king. So if he has appointed you to do something, do it. That is what kingdom is all about. Children of God don't struggle with that. Sons of God know that. They don't struggle with it. Jesus never asked for an offering before he preached any, to anywhere. In fact, he gave them food when he came and preached. That is how to be a son of God. Ninataka kuambia kutoka leo. Tafuteni roho mtakatifu for yourself. Wacheni kufuata viongozi na watu ambao wanafikiria wataongoza. The Holy Spirit, you are answerable. This someone, Mungu wa menituma kutoka USA, kuambia. Kwa hivyo mtazama mungu zikia, kwa cheni, kwa mtazama mungu zikia. So this time I was sitting in the car with my friend. Tunangia kuhusu mungu na roo mtakatifu. All of a sudden, nikachikuta niko binguni. Caught up in heaven. Nani naona kuna takuwa sana nime sama on this side. Of God the Father. God the Father is here. The light of God the Father is so bright. But the light was so bright. And I knew God the Son is on the other side. So I mean, Miss Mama on the left side of the Father. Mbele yetu kulikuwa na beings, little beings. Some were small, some were medium sized, some were very tall. You couldn't see the end. Na nikauliza baba, nikamuambia, Father, what are we looking at? Akanembia, this is what I see when I look at sons of men. These are the spirits of men. Akanembia, you see, these are that are small and malnourished. Alizita malnourished. Akasema, these are the ones who do not study the word, who do not, are not led by the spirit of God. Amba, wafati roa wa mungu, hawakuzi kile niliwapatia. Spirit ile niliwapatia, ndiyo wamebaki nayo. Akarudi haku address hawa wakatikati. Haka address, haka sema, you see this is a so tall that you cannot see the end. Haka sema, there is no limits to the spirit. The minute he said that, I was back. Nika ambia rafiki yangu, wah! Nimepewa macho ya mungu kumuona. Vile anakuvyo kutazama. We fikiria na kuangalia makeup. When he looks at you, he's looking at your spirit. Angali makeup. Angali mnyele. Alinionyesha kile ambacho anaangalia kikuangalia. Ni kuulize swali. Spirit yako mungu wakifungua le, si, leo macho yetu sisi wote tuone, tutaona nini? What will we see? If by the spirit of God you put to death the deeds of the flesh, you will live only by the spirit. For they that are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God. They are to be led by the spirit of God. Hallelujah. Inua mikono ju. Kama hauja mkubali Yesu kama mkozi wa maisha yako. Come and receive Christ as your Lord and Savior. Because the Holy Spirit is only given to children of God. Ukikuja Amerika, lazima upate visa. Lazima upate visa. Na visa ya binguni, ni kumkubali Yesu kama mkozi wa maisha yako. 
Ukipata visa, now you can come in na uko America. Sasa ukifika America kwa airport, usipopata tour guide, umepotea. Heri ungekaa kwenye ulikuwa. Wakristo wengi waliingia gate na wakasimama kwa gate. Hawajui binguni, hawajui how to be sons and daughters kwa sababu hawajamkubali tour guide ambaye ni Roho Mtakatifu wa Mungu. The reason why you're stagnant and not moving is because you have not accepted to be toured and shown around and taught the kingdom business so that you can conduct kingdom business. You understand I do not have a problem giving my music I give it for free. Who has to charge anything? Leo nitaacha vitabu kadhaa dad yenye itaenda around hapa watu wenye nataka kusoma. Mimi sihitaji pesa yenu. Kingdom does not need your money. The only thing you can do for yourself is invest in yourself. Ufike binguni. Na kufika binguni si ati ungoje uende huko. Uishi binguni hapa. I am living on earth on in heaven on earth. I am living out my purpose. I am enjoying my life on earth because I was nimetumwa hapa. We kwenye umetumwa kazi tuseme umetumwa America kazi. Unangoja ndio ukuje uishi Kenya ama utaishi huko America ukifanya kazi yenye umetumwa na unaishi maisha mzuri. Si ndio? tumetumwa hapa tuishi kama Mungu hapa duniani na tukienda kule ni reward time uko sasa ni reward are you going to be rewarded 